Good morning, folks. Uh, horse guards, Monday morning. It was raining all night, so the streets are glistening. Uh, that yellow liquid on the floor, uh, alas, guys, is not gold. Uh, somebody didn't drop their, their plastic cup filled with liquid gold, sadly. Uh, that's a different type of liquid gold. That is liquid gold organically produced by uh, the king's horse. The remarkable thing this morning, actually, is that despite it being windy and uh, somewhat unpleasant, gusty, I think is actually a better way to describe it, gusty morning, uh, it's very warm. Very warm. First, I haven't worn a coat in a week. It feels like it's, let me think, 15 degrees, 17 degrees, which is very curious. Uh, for this moment in the year, very curious indeed. And the light, guys, uh, sunshine has been trying to break through for the past half an hour. It's just, just starting to break through. And hopefully it will hit the yard at some point this morning. It's great to see the, uh, the guard being vigilant eyeballing everywhere that gets close, uh, for obvious reasons. You never know. It's always the ones that you don't expect that are a little bit naughty. Uh, typically, um, single lady visitors uh, in the 50s and 60s are the naughty cheeky ones uh, that often grab the reins. You wouldn't believe it, but hey, we've seen it many times here, many times. I'm not sure which horse the uh, lovely lady guard is on, but look, he's looking this way. Hello, horsey, good morning. <laughs> so I move around this side and the lovely family over there have got the sunshine, look at that. So, so, so lucky to get that. Very much the last minute. And the reason I'm focusing, the reason I'm focusing on the front here at the two horses is that they will be leaving shortly. So shortly that I need to run inside before I miss this departure. Look at that, that was close, wasn't it? We almost missed it. Goodness gracious me. Here we are, Blues and Royals, heading back to barracks on Monday morning. I was just thinking they're coming out soon, so that was very, very lucky. Talk about last moment. Out into the sunshine. Look, horses are loving it. Like, yes, it's bright and it's sunny and it's a lovely morning. And I'm pretty sure, because we've got a regimental changeover this morning, um, they'll keep the gates open. And that's a good thing, a very good thing. <laughs> I was waiting for you to get told to get out of the way. <laughs> All good? Yeah? I was yeah, yeah. yeah. I wondering what's going on out here today. It's, it's all blocked here. But oh, you know, that's... Coming in from the angle. Actually, wait, why? Oh, I wonder what is actually going on. That's a good question. Yeah. No, Some, no, another event? More blocked the last week or so. But there's nothing planned, is there? I, I, think, I, I don't know what's going on. No, no. It's very curious. So they're coming in at an odd, uh, yeah, odd angle? Okay. Now. Well, well spotted. Very well spotted. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, so if you pointed out to me that, uh, <laughs> all right, I'm good, you? Ah, uh, you inspired me. What can I say? Yeah, it had to be done. Got, got a bit more work to do for sure. Interesting that they're coming in this way. It works at the back here. Yeah, I thought military season was done. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, of course it is. Sorry, they're, they're redoing the yard, aren't they? Next month. Yeah. Okay, folks, so in the sunshine, just talking to the office here, in the sunshine, we've got the lifeguards coming across. And how much do their tunics sparkle uh, in this weather? Absolutely wonderful. Quite the sight, eh, folks, in the sunshine. Beautiful weather for it this morning. Okay, that's my cue, everybody, uh, to vanish. What I mean by that? I mean, get my you-know-whats uh, back through the tunnel quick. Uh, in a second, they're going to finish lining up. I'm struggling here with a good spot because it is absolutely drenched. Even though I've got waterproof boots on, it's absolutely drenched on the, uh, on the parade ground here. 
Yep. Okay, so the uh, lifeguards have lined up right opposite the blue. He's got that massive crane. That's probably uh, something to do with the works that are starting here next month. But at the moment, no one seems to know. The officers don't know either. It just appeared. It wasn't here yesterday. So overnight it appeared and it's unloading something. No idea what it's for. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the waterlogged ground that we're struggling with. And yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty mushy. Better if he's going to be this man, I think. Yep. Okay, so just dashing back through the tunnel quickly. Super light today, eh? We, it just came up, just came up in time, uh, which is quite a wonder. Uh, I feel quite, quite privileged. Morning. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, and I've been uh, granted access to the corner. So we've got the. Uh, Blues and Royals Chitsman, uh, who will shortly be finished. He's pacing, uh, and I'll keep an eye on him for a few moments until the lifeguards come through the tunnel. Really, really glorious, glorious, glorious light this morning. Look at the arches, flooded with uh, Monday morning light. Autumnal well, light in London is wonderful because it doesn't come with a haze of, uh, of the summer light. The arc of light over, over the guard. Isn't that magnificent? Notice even on the left we have uh, the shadow of the lamp on the wall. Beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful light this morning. Really wonderful. Uh, I almost don't want to step back into the shade after looking at that. But isn't that a spectacular view, everybody? Autumn mornings with a bit of sunshine are the very best of the year. Notice the clarity. The air is absolutely crystal clear. All the dirt and dust being stuck to the ground. Yesterday there was so much going on. It was uh, it was a very interesting weekend this weekend. Hell of an interesting weekend. And it's so warm and balmy actually here in London this morning that a lot of the officers uh, are actually wearing uh, short sleeves. You wouldn't believe it, but yeah, short sleeves galore. Wonderful thing to see, actually, to be honest with you. And you would not think at all it would even be possible uh, this month. Most people are still in coats. And you know what? They don't need them. You could actually, I'm not kidding, you could actually be walking around uh, in shorts and a t-shirt. It's that warm. I think that might explain in part uh, why the back doors to the boxes are open. They haven't just opened them. They were open when I arrived. Uh, and that was a good 10 to 15 minutes ago. Hence, that super view, eh? Look at that. I was hoping, 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 secretly hoping, uh, we might have got a little glimpse of Titan in the box uh, before he headed back, because it could well be, I mean, it won't be this year, it could well be many, many months. In fact, it could be a bit indefinite before, uh, before we end up seeing that horse here again. So very lucky to have caught him yesterday. I wasn't expecting it at all. That's in yesterday's video, guys. Uh, the video Horse Guards reopens. Um, it was closed for most of the day yesterday. It reopened at around about 2.30 yesterday afternoon, but only a partial reopening. There was no guard change in the yard that people could access and watch. Everything was done as, as usual, but there was no public access uh, and did so with the four o'clock inspection. So no one... Uh, other than through the gates, myself included, managed to have a good look. However, I did record it, uh, and yesterday's end of day uh, was a very curious one, filmed from the gate. A big troop of school kids uh, walking through. British, British school group, yeah, 100%. Wait for those lifeguards to come through the tunnel at any moment. So if they're not coming through the tunnel as, uh, as a school group are going through, then they could have really got a, a proper spectacle. That'd be something to tell your classmates about, wouldn't it? I went to London and I saw lots of horses with soldiers. Blues have had a long weekend. They've been here for three and a half days, folks. Um, yes, they had part of the weekend off in the sense that they were not on ceremonial, but they're always working, even if they're not out here in the yard on ceremonial. So it's been a very, very, very long weekend for the Blues and Royals. They arrived very early Friday morning. It's now Monday morning, 72 hours uh, on the second most busy weekend of the year. The first, of course, being the coronation. The reason this weekend was very busy is that not only did we have the service on Saturday um, at the Cenotaph, but we had the national 
um, Festival of Remembrance, that was yesterday, also again at the, sorry, National Service of Remembrance at the Cenotaph yesterday morning with the King, etc. So a very, very busy, event-filled weekend here in London. Okay, I'm hearing some, uh, some verbal at the back, which typically indicates that they're imminently going to be coming through the tunnel, looking for that movement reflected in the gate. Very clear to see today because it's so bright and sunny out the back. You can hear the bell above me, everybody. That is the bell for 11 o'clock. So that is the, uh, the moment that they should be coming through, in theory. I can also hear Big Ben in the distance. I can just buy the lifeguards through a crack in the gate. And let me see, I think they're moving. One second. Yep, the officers are moving out of the way. That's a typical indication that they're about to come through the tunnel. And there it is, crimson on the black shiny gate. I bet the horses are loving being out this morning, in fact. I bet they really are enjoying it. Okay, let's see which horses they brought with them. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Some real beauties there. And guys, would you believe Pagan is back in town. The one and only glorious, spectacular, unique Pagan so many of you were asking about is back at horse guards that's right pagan is back people okay time to head to the front uh, the reason being that at the front shortly we will have the horses being replaced now i don't know a hundred percent whether or not pagan will be the horse coming out one of the most popular horses just came back horse that hasn't been here for weeks pagan yeah, yeah. pagan oh, yeah. yeah been a while so guys, yep, I'll go back to the front for a little while. There's no guarantee. I know it's going to be super disappointing to hear this, but there is no guarantee at all. Bearing in mind, we just have five come through. We've got another six or seven coming through. There's no guarantee at all that Pagan will be one of the horses put on duty at the front. I mean, I'm keeping my fingers firmly crossed because that would be a wonder. But we'll find out shortly. Meanwhile, we've got a fluffy hair number one. And the other beauty at the other end. Uh, and no, I'm not just talking about the tourists, I'm talking about the horse. Look at the coast sparkling in the sunshine. Look, Maine is, uh, is blowing, uh, as is my cap and is the guard's plume. The horse is loving it. This is absolute dream horsey weather. How that coast sparkles, guys. People ask why I get up early and film here. You don't get a light like this uh, falling on live animals anywhere else in central London this time on a Monday morning. Maybe at London Zoo, but then again, it's pretty far from where I live, so I don't think we'll be heading to the zoo anytime soon. More importantly, the zoo doesn't have horses as magnificent as this. Look at you, yes, you are. Absolutely flawless, eh? The coat. And the horse is in a good mood. Yes, good morning. Horse is in a good mood because he knows that he's going home shortly. Home to Hyde Park. Okay, meanwhile, the other side, some hardy visitors. I will focus on the horses here. Uh, the only thing is, I can't really decide which box I prefer in terms of the actual changeover. This horse's hair is so fluffy at the front definitely went to the hairdressers or uh, had it conditioned uh, for duty this morning. Another one knows he's off uh, home shortly. Four socks, this horse. And it was dropped to me yesterday, but you know what? So many things happened yesterday that over my head, alas. Well, how long have we got until the actual change? Let's have a look at the clock. We're after 11, I can tell you that. It's 11.04. Now, the latest they'll be done with the complete changeover of foot guards and boxmen will be 11.30, 11.35 11 worst way if they're running late. I'm liking the light on this horse's coat so much, to be fair, that uh, 
it's hard not to spend most of my attention here. I'm also noticing some spectacular police horses out the back. Uh, they will likely come through. In fact, no, they won't, thinking about it. Um, they are going to escort the Blues and Royals back to Hyde Park, in all likelihood. And that's going to be a bit of a wait for those police horses. A couple of uh, beautiful greys. The end of the tunnel, looking thoroughly magnificent. I can zoom in, maybe I'll catch them. Look. Got the second half of the lifeguard troop at the end of the tunnel, half of the blues. So, yeah, still got a bit of a wait, folks, until that's, that changeover is complete. I'm, I am half tempted, I must admit, to, uh, to go and have a look at those two horses. However, they're in the middle. So, even if I do go out there, I can't get close to those, those horses because they're waiting to escort the blues back to the mouth and then back in Palace and then Hyde Park Barracks. The other thing is, it's, uh, <laughs> even if they do bring Pagan out as the first horse of the day, there's no knowing which, which of the two boxes. I'll try and figure it out um, once I see which two new boxmen are coming out, because then if I can see which horses they're on, and in this light it'll be very easy to spot Pagan. Uh, I can easily gather from their positions when they come out which box Pagan might end up being in. And given it's Monday, and at the moment, whilst the guard change is all going at the palace, it's pretty quiet here. Uh, I, can, I can sort of fluidly move up and down if necessary. Try and catch that wonderful horse. So many of you have been asking, actually, where's Pagan? And I didn't know. In fact, nobody knew. I guess they were hiding her. <laughs> hiding her at Hyde Park. Maybe that she's well. So even if she isn't out on the first shift today, she'll be here at some point during the day. And, ideally, uh, on one or two more days this week. The problem is, with a horse that's that unusual, that unique, that beautiful, uh, in fact, not even unusual, pretty much the only one that looks like that. That's why that horse is unmistakable. Kind of overshadows the magnificent Blues horses. Is that what you mean, overshadows? Don't you dare talk to me like that stuck his tongue out. It's like, don't forget, Pagan might be beautiful, but I'm bigger. And you know what? That's a fair, fair point, Horsey. That's a very fair point. Next up is definitely going to be those two horses. Two lifeguard horses. Wait, actually, let's, let me wait in the yard for them to come out. I always try to follow them, as it were, into the box. The light in here is just, wow, look at this. The antithesis, the gloom that we had uh, for yesterday, it was a very gloomy day, actually, it's a shame. Veterans would, uh, would have enjoyed the sunshine 100% if it had been the same as Saturday. It wasn't even that it was cold and downcast, it was the fact that it was continually on and off raining. The best part also about the autumn, not as well as the light, the leaves, that rustling sound of the leaves blowing all over the, glee, all over the yard. Oh, this horse looks like he's off. And he's off. Look. Guard's turning him round. Not sure if he wants to quit or not. They always have a bit of a sense that uh, on Mondays they're going home. They settle pretty quickly, that's the main thing. Let's see what happens when, uh, when the replacement horses come out. That's when things could get a little bit tricky. And he seemed to have uh, settled down pretty quickly. It looked like a little cheeky grab of the reins as he left. It's like, hold on a second, I just need to grab those reins. The horse is like, yeah, you're right, he did, he just grabbed the reins. Arrest that man. Lifeguards 
are still busy uh, unpacking and getting ready. How long will they take? As long as they feel like taking. Traffic's uh, pretty reasonable for a Monday morning. Horses may look blowing up in the uh, in the wind. Wow! Look at this. All the leaves. A chaos on the ground. That's a good view. Look. We can see horsey, guard, taurus and leaves without too much sunlight. Even the board, the sign is uh, is blowing on the wall. Good pictures for the tourists today in this light. It's the sort of light that makes us all look like Richard Gere or uh, Andrew or Jolie. Oh, what's he's coming to say hello again? He's off. Super relaxed, and the thing that concerns me a teeny bit is if this horse is already so restless about going home with his glorious, cloppy, shiny hooves, um, it will not take very much to, uh, to set him off when the other horses come out. Let's see what happens in a minute. The guard doesn't seem particularly concerned. I do feel bad actually, kind of like I'm neglecting the other horse, but at the second I walk away, uh, either the other horses are going to come out or something's going to happen, it always does. It's always the choosing this end because of the sunlight. You can hear guys uh, as well as see that wind, eh? Okay, new horses are out. Here come the new lifeguard horses in the yard. Everyone is being told to get behind the barriers and the bollards. Here comes a new horse. Look at that in this light, eh? red and the blue. Okay, now this end, as you can see, is clearly not pagan. Now I wonder which horse is at the other end. Oh, the other end is not pagan either. <laughs> Guys, no pagan. However, the good news, uh, at least in terms of, uh, of horse spotting, is that it's 11.14, okay? by the time this video ends, which will be uh, afternoon, uh, I don't mean in the afternoon, I mean afternoon, in other words after 12 noon, um, we will have seen the other changeover. So what I think I'll do, um, to be smart, actually, is, uh, is wait and see which horses come out for the changeover at noon. Next up, coming through the tunnel, uh, will be the lifeguards. But first of all, in fact, we do need to wait for the blues to leave. But the rest of the blues and royals should be heading out in a few minutes. Uh, and then the lifeguards will come through, the remainder of the lifeguards. Here they come. Actually, wait, sorry, what am I talking about? This is the chitsman and the gatesman into the sunshine. Look at this. Like 
magnificent. They're going to head into the tunnel, guys, which is exactly where I'm going right now. And we can capture the relief being changed over. Rather fortunately. Super light to watch it this morning. Got a good spot here as well. Very breezy here in the tunnel. Okay, here they come. The, uh, the guard is a long way from his usual, his or her usual position. What I mean by that? Well, ordinarily, the guard is standing. I was wondering why the light was off. In other words, why it seems so dark. The guard ordinarily stands directly uh, in front of the archway that goes to the door, just up the steps. But notice that the blues guard, uh, perhaps because of the wind, was standing here in this position instead. Anomaly, I have no idea. Anyway, he's out um, and off to go into the archway. And don't worry guys, the main thing is that, as you can see, that no tourists were harmed in the filming of this video. Uh, at least not yet, anyway. Okay, he's filming in the arch. And on the other side, we have The Chitsman. He's now chained in everyone, he's not going anywhere. Trooper said, right, you're stuck here now for two hours, don't even think about moving. He's off to close up the boxes. Okay, that confirms that we now have the lifeguards here on duty as the King's Guard. It's done, the changeover is complete. The only thing left imminently um, are the two groups of horses that still need to come out the blues and then in the lifeguards at which point Monday will resume a lot of people in the yard this morning actually very much so I've got a feeling even though we're way out of tourist season now that uh, it'll be a healthy morning in terms of numbers here Look at this lady, look. She's just not listening. Look at this. Utterly extraordinary. <laughs> what is she doing? One of the uh, Blues and Royals horses is not a happy chap at the back as well. I'm not sure what's going on, but he was kind of kicking off a little bit. Look, on the parade ground. Yeah, he's not, not a happy boy. Let's have a look at why. Probably the wind, in all likelihood. He's gone over to join the lifeguards. So let's have a look. Just that, your horse bolted, went straight for the crowd. Unbelievable, eh? Yeah. Everyone alright though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your friend the copper, he shouted, he got all out the way. Extraordinary, wow. Blues and Royals, that's called me down the air. Absolutely wild. Charging over. The wind, yeah, I guess. The horse is not liking, not liking the wind this morning. Yeah, Blues and Royals, Lance Corporal of Horse, apparently, was the one that, uh, that bolted over. It happened to occasion on the parade ground, especially when it's this windy. So kind of missed it, but kind of didn't miss it, if that makes sense. Tourists stand there, uh, thinking because there's water, somebody's going to throw uh, an overcoat. 
onto the ground. No, we. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So I don't want to get my lovely Chanel boots in your dirty, muddy British water. In France, we use Evian to cleanse our footwear. Here, we seem to use mud. Okay, the main thing is that everyone's all right. Uh, apparently, the horse darted toward the crowd. I uh, didn't go into the crowd. Um, looks like the officer quickly told everybody to get their whatever's back. Um, yeah, I mean, it does happen here when, when it's super gusty. Uh, the leaves blowing all over the place. Oh, this lovely, happy group of people. It's like a group shot, isn't it? Very. I didn't get it either because I missed it, but the horse at the back ran into the crowd. Yeah, I saw it. It's running like that. Yeah. <laughs> Windy at the back, very. I think it's the wind. Yep, 100%. Horse of course, it's been pretty well behaved though this morning, everyone, considering that it is a very, very gusty morning. Now this settled down, it shouldn't be terribly long um, until the last horses leave. I mean, it, it could be two minutes, it could be 20 minutes. This is the trouble. One never knows here in the mornings. At the moment, the, the recording's at 32. Uh, if it goes past 45, that's going to have been a very long wait. I can't at the moment even see inside the gates the, uh, the other horses being ready to leave, which is curious because they've normally already mounted up. Let's have a quick look at the front at which other horse the lifeguard's brought out. very much doubt I'll recognize it but hey if I don't take a look at least okay so typical HK of black fluffy hair super happy looking face um, two white socks at the back god here comes a Spanish tour group with uh, a PA system as usual at least they're not right in the horse's ear with it yet I say yeah because it will probably happen. I think that I'll uh, keep a, a little look at the quarter mile on the movements of the police. That'll give me more of an indication of what's going to happen next because right now everything kind of appears frozen in time. It really does, curiously enough. I think it's going to get a Irish lady here is saying you think it's going to be a bigger area, in other words, horse guards. That, that in fact, is probably the most common uh, misconception that this place is an enormous, you know, palace with loads of guards on horses and so on. And whilst there are a good number of horses and guards, on occasion, the place itself is uh, is very much contained. It's a very small military barracks here in the centre of London. And much as it is an attraction to tourists, it's not in itself, per se, a tourist attraction. Not that you'd uh, believe it, from how many people do arrive here. At least a lovely lady's bringing a puppy. Fire brigade just coming along. of lovely people this morning, all looking happily, happily, happily content. Good uh, to see that the lifeguards took the time to put the sign nice and straight. That's always a pleasant thing on a Monday morning. Spot on, definitely use a level for that, 100%. <laughs> 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 
love an Irish accent, me personally, really do, amazing. I think they were going for sort of ye olde England medieval, you know, all the Shakespeare look with the sign today, if that would explain that. The tourists have noticed actually now that uh, tourist cam is active, i.e. me. No, all sides be pretty much shy. Back, I can notice that still nothing's happening in the yard. Whoa, look at this. The wind, look at the flags, look. I wonder what that ripping sound was then. It's the flags at the old war office, now a hotel. Wow, sorry guys if the wind is really, really sort of uh, being picked up by the microphone. That is regrettably beyond my control. Goodness me, it is uh, it's gusty. I'm trying my hardest to avoid uh, picking up that excessive light in the camera. But other than being in the yard, it's almost unavoidable. I'm actually, bear in mind that the horses are not even saddled up. I'm actually going to take a quick walk around the uh, parade ground at the back. One, because it's nice and sunny, and two, uh, because both the regiments, half of both the regiments, uh, are lined up on the parade ground. How long it's going to be before, uh, before they start to move again? Should be pretty soon. Are we? So I just, I just, yeah. I you heard that the horse charge at this corner. Yeah. And, and lot of people had to run back. And it's like, ah. Was it? Was it that bad? Yeah. Honestly, I, thought, I honestly thought the geese was going to hit. Them. He probably pulled up. Like one of the blues, yeah? Last yeah, one of the blues, yeah. You missed it, John. Imagine all those clicks you've just lost. I well, know, but you know what? Especially when you're taking a mark in that game. Yeah. It's only taken a hit because you haven't been here recently. That's no, right. I was here on Thursday and I sent one of the, uh, the, the uh, TikTokers. Oh, another well, one? Yeah, I always like that. Who was it? Um, I don't know. He normally wears a woolly hat, but I just said to him, hey, I was, I was talking to the and my mates and they moved away from them and he turned around and he started getting in and I said, this is not for you, turn back round. Oh. I don't like the way you spoke to us, you're the only police officer, this might be a video. And I said, I think you're fine, most of us are in our video. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. What I said was, it may not be illegal, but it's immoral and unethical. It's not to find police. Unless you do what they're doing, they're doing it for evidence for them rather than money for you. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that's what he's doing for them. He's doing it for money, he's doing it for clips. Yeah, we know, we know there are a few so, that are like that. You know, I know. And, and that's what I said to him. He didn't like it, and they're reaching for it. Good. So, as a right. Most people are kind of on team, though, they understand that more than you. What's his calling, that kind of stuff? not be posted so overall it's pretty good okay guys just crossed over just talking with the officer there very interesting perspective um i, I agree with what, what he said you know you heard what he said he said there are a few people that you know are trying to concentrate on on, on negative aspects of some of the things that we see here uh, because negative equals controversial controversial equals popular popular equals viral viral equals uh, you know, monetization. It's as simple as that. It's a very, very sad truth. Very sad truth. Uh, but as usual, you know, I'm not putting anyone on camera uh, because this is their workplace. Some of the guys, the, the police officers, are very happy to be on camera. Uh, the majority do not want to be uh, intentional on camera, although they understand that by virtue of working in a public place, public facing role, they are often going to appear on camera. Light at the back here today. I'm 
there are those two spectacular police horses I was talking about. This is the main reason I wanted to try and get over. So the rest of those blues coming up to join their colleagues, uh, which gives us pretty much a perfect moment to cross over uh, and go back around and try, no guarantees, try uh, to beat the lifeguards into the tunnel. Will we do it? Oh, I have no idea, to be honest with you. No, no clue, in fact. 50-50. Blues are just lining up. I'm noticing massive Titan there at the end of the line. Lifeguards, look at the light people, eh? Notice how quickly I'm crunching that gravel, guys, to get back uh, toward the tunnel. Okay, I made it before the lifeguards. <laughs> Fingers crossed, yep, I made it, people. Let's see. Just before they come through the tunnel, I'm just gonna get back over onto the other side before they come through the tunnel. Yep, just, just made it. That was very, very, very fortunate. So apparently the horse did get exceptionally close, you heard the officer there, exceptionally close uh, to the crowd. Uh, the toys were like, ah, and they, they ran away. Happens, yep, it happens. Right, so we're waiting for the final part of this morning's ceremonies. That equals the rest of the lifeguards coming into the yard, going through the gates into the stable area and dismounting. There's me running around uh, on the parade ground there, expecting that uh, <laughs> I might miss them. They're like, hey, we'll take our good, uh, we'll take our good time. As indeed is their prerogative. 11.32, everybody. Any moment. There's the gate, Let's see if we can spot those cloaked on the gate. Here we go, there, there it is. There's the scarlet on the black. If I can recognize any of the other horses, probably not in all honesty, but let's see. Okay, one, two. Well, that one's a beauty, three, four. Five, six, ho, 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 hold on just a moment. Look at this spectacular, glorious horse right here. Absolutely lovely, wow. Heavens. That one is absolutely spectacular. Name coming, people. Wow. Wow. Almost wanted to pause there, that horse, uh, and get a lovely picture right in the camera frame. Okie dokie, right, let's go back to the front, guys, before the deluge begins to arrive. Will there be one? Uh, I mean, there might be. Is it going to be of uh, summer proportions? No, it's not. But bearing in mind, the uh, guard change at the palace has just finished. So, this is the start, these are the people that left the palace early. Now it's a 50-50, which horse is going to be the better one? The one on my left or the one on my right? I don't know. I've got no idea. I see the better one in terms of which one is, uh, is going to attract the highest number of people. I want to stop for pictures. Let's see. Then they're going to go to. Oh, he's like, get away from me. Oh, the toys are sort of. Uh, 
dropping tears on the floor behind me uh, the prospect of how much the horses are exposed to the public. Yeah, better lock them away in a stable in the dark by themselves. So this one doesn't decide to get all cloppy. Someone doesn't want to settle it seems. It's okay horsey, don't worry. Somebody suggested that it was the, uh, the wheelchair. Somebody came through in a wheelchair. I don't know, maybe. I'm no expert on the equine psychology. What on I have no idea guys uh, how much the wind is being picked up by the microphone, uh, if it's very, very loud, my apologies. Oh, the clown that poses the tour guide in his spare time is, is here today, the one that had uh, negative words last week. Hat season has firmly begun. summer fashion show uh, but running late into the winter this year Nursery group about to leave on my left. It's proper hard work. Anyway, what I wanted to show you guys the colours look. These autumnal colours, the leaves on the cobblestones. Uh, but not for much longer, once uh, the horses are taken in next month, uh, they'll be off for the best part of a month. <laughs> Hello, I can't touch you, but I'd love to. Interesting sentiments for the horse.
<laughs> teachers being uh, very strict, making sure that they don't get too close to the horse, and rightly so. Very good thing this horse isn't doing the full hour, he's very restless. So just over 15 minutes left. Uh, will he make it? He will. Lots of noise here guys, got lots of school groups coming along, British school groups. And which is my cue finally to be able to move to the other end. If I go, I hope, I hope. We zoom it around. Roman. Signs are tricky around quite a lot. I really hope they fall off. This is actually the, uh, the windiest Monday morning I ever remember here. Uh, and I'm just disappointed because I didn't bring a kite with me. Yeah, I could have flown a kite, everybody. Damn it. It's even blowing the phony gimbal a little bit in my hand. Whole groups actually formed on the line already. They are super premature. They can have a long way. <laughs> this horse, in fact, is happy. Why? Because he can sleep. The tourists leave him alone. He'll be able to get a nap. Right, into the yard before they close it up for a quick look. Cops <laughs> are busy discussing the weapons at the beast. But look, tour group completely took over the line. It's like an invasion. I don't know if the gatesmen and shitsmen are going to be changing on the odd or even hours. Um, bearing in mind, sometimes the lifeguards do trick us and they choose to do it on the even hours. And those toys had a lucky escape. His, uh, his buddy pushed him out of the way. Very fortunate. Exceedingly so. Oops. <laughs> There's always one. I'm just thinking that, that that would have been a clean morning, but no. There's, uh, there's always one, everyone. Uh, speaking of there always being one, of course it's nodding at the guard. It's interesting. He's actually nodding at the guard as he came through the gate. Oh yeah, actually, I think this uh, this lady's husband's calling an ambulance. She 
was she was terrified, scared, scared the life out of her. The guard did. Yeah, plumes all over the place this morning in the wind. It's 14 minutes to noon right now, 14 minutes to noon. This horse is clippy clopping constantly. And I think it's because he really doesn't like the wind. Look. So there's leaves blowing along the street. So get those leaves out of here. Yeah, not liking those leaves at all. Colour explosion, autumnal colour explosion. Okay, let's say this guy doesn't give any other tourists a heart attack. Let's look over to the archway. I think his way is clear. But you never know. <laughs> Plus, it depends on whether he's going to the arch. Oh, wait. In fact, this uh, this old gen that often helps out here. This retired soldier, old soldier, uh, has made sure that they're firmly out of the way for the guard. What a top man, eh? A little bit torn, guys, to be honest, whether or not it's better to be in the yard here or outside. If I knew 100% they would be changing the foot guards, I would stay in here, but there's no way of knowing. I actually thought the chain was down. In fact, people were super close on this side. It's not. The chain is up. Change definitely up 100%. You can see it in front of the guard. best thing in fact shortly when they're saddling up is I might might be able to spot where the pagans coming out through the through the gates even though she's here there's absolutely no guarantee at all that she'll be uh, out on duty you know why did he stand <laughs> Damn, the guy just destroyed uh, that guy. That guy's photo op. He let the girl get her picture. <laughs> oh, goodness me. That was unfortunate. So now Jorge uh, is saying porque. Never mind. God has seen the light, everyone. Off. Yeah, I feel a bit sad. That tour group that uh, was brought in to stand on the line, uh, the tour guide has given up. I think that he or she probably thought, "Yo, you know what? It's going to be too long. The wait will be too long." <laughs> and they've left, uh, not knowing that in nine minutes it will be happening. Yeah, they came in way too early for that. Uh, so the tour guide was obviously waiting with the group for the horses to come out and change over. But you know, I thought that. The majority, if not all the tall guys, at least knew that the horse changes were hourly. Speaking about horse changes, we've got another couple of beauties coming through this tunnel. Problem is, it's so, 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 so windy. It's 
sorry, I'm not talking about the tourist view of these guys, I'm talking about these two white horses, well they're greys, but to the naked eye they look white. Even that crane is dangling a little bit in the uh, in the background. Yikes, windy, windy, windy. Okay, here they come, look, shredding through, dapple grey on the left, look at the other one. The one that looks like a unicorn. Beautiful, that one, really. Wow. They're actually even better looking than uh, the H-Cab horses. <laughs> Spectacular, eh? That's got to be one of London's best jobs. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Get up early, go to the stables, find out which beautiful, amazing, unique horse you're going to be riding all day, uh, mount, and then get paid for it. How's about that? The good thing is that the horses, uh, although they were kitted up for the weekend in full riot gear, none of the horses were one used or two injured. I see none of them were used. I mean, we did get a little segment of the horses sort of being used to very gently push um, a few people back at Hyde Park Corner, but they were not used in a full charge. Okay? And that's what matters. I've seen that before during uh, during BLM. That was not a, to be honest, quite, actually quite scary. It's not nice in Z. It's actually a little bit more dramatic than that. It's certainly not a pleasant thing to see at all. Pretty scary. Seven minutes till the changeover, guys. Let's see if we get Pagan. If we don't, I will try and capture it some other point this week. The main thing is we got this beautiful weather here and the regimental changeover in the sunshine. Lovely poppy scarf she's got, actually. Not entirely dissimilar to mine. Very noticeable stars that this beauty's got. The tour is always scared to get in the frame, very cute and thoughtful. Afraid of politeness this morning. As if that wasn't enough. Look, everyone, here comes two more. Oh, hold on a second. That's the massive. That's the massive Yankee, I think. I'll ask the officer. I'm pretty sure that's Yankee. The horse on the right. Look, it's that massive 18 hands beauty. Look at this. Look at the size of that horse. It's massive. I mean, it really is enormous. Yep, that's definitely Yankee. Very, very, very unusual horse. This dude running a mini marathon all alone, look. <laughs> he was going to grab the camera. I literally thought he was going to grab the camera as he... Uh, as he ran towards me. Would have been interesting. A salute. Ah. I wasn't sure actually whether she was holding her wig on or trying to salute.
It doesn't want to smile for the picture. Look, it's like, no, I don't want to smile. minutes we should hear the bell and my phone says it's two minutes away also Shiloh because I don't want my picture taken today thank you very much sir Troopers giving the horses an escape route now, guys. That's look, he's looking behind him. He's like, oh, is that the, is that the way back to the stables? He's uh, debating whether to, to run for it. There's just the leaves flying into the camera. He's thinking about, it, isn't he? He's really thinking about, you know what? run away now uh, or I could stand for two more minutes and not get in trouble. I think this horse is smart. He's going to stay guys. He's going to stay put and do his duty. His or her duty. Right, horsey, you're nearly done, don't worry. Lucky stay with a short shift. Lovely light though, isn't it, guys, with the, uh, the doors open at the back of the box. One minute, apparently. said no. Bing bong, right. Don't worry horsey, you are done. You're good to go. Bad news guys, still not seeing Pagan. Oh, a little kiss between the horses there before they came out. There's a tourist actually getting pictures with this horse at this end whilst the, the guard changes on going, look. She ran away fast. Yeah, neither the two that are coming now are Pagan either. So, my money's on Pagan probably being on tomorrow. Possibly later this afternoon, but uh, I won't be here, so... That is... Uh, a little teeny weeny bit unfortunate, but 100% not pagan. However, coming in quickly on this box, everybody, rather wonderfully, is the glorious Indigo. Indigo, go, go. Coming through in a moment. Okay, so Mr. Clippy Clop here. 
can't decide whether he wants to stay or go. Let's finish. Oh, wait, actually, is it indigo? Hmm, now I'm actually having a bit of a double take. Definite indigo vibes, definite four white socks. So either indigo has a twin brother sister, or this is indeed indigo. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. Yeah, or either that would keep you another ex-coach horse secret back at Hype Park Stables. Oh, dropped his phone on the floor. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, it's Indigo, isn't it? Hey, welcome back, Indigo. Oh, see the ears move, Indigo. They are actually changing over the uh, the Gatesman and Chitsman, which is extraordinary because they only came on 30 minutes ago. Look, Ash having a full changeover, so the lifeguards are doing even hours today. See, it's totally they trick us. Blues do odd hours, lifeguards have chosen even hours. I honestly have no idea why, especially when you consider the fact that they just arrived and just started. They've only been on for 45 minutes. Very curious. Yep, they're clearly doing the even hours. It's a pity, actually, because if I was certain they were doing uh, the uh, even hours, I would definitely have been inside to watch that. It's too late now, I missed it. Never mind. At least we've got to see Indigo come out. He really is an absolute beauty, this one, eh? So in fact, it's a bit of a... Uh, a lifeguard horsey beauty show. They've got Indigo and they've got Pagan here at the same time. It's a real wonder. Now the thing is, there's no way of knowing the schedule here. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean, there's no way of knowing 100% if Pagan will be out at some point today and what time it will be. Now, Pago could come out the next hour, the hour after, or not at all. I might be keeping Pagan in reserve until tomorrow, or, worst case scenario, Pagan might actually not be out at all this week. They do sometimes bring over horses that are not put in the box for ceremonial. Um, they might well, for example, be on medication, or something else might be going on. It's unusual that they'll bring over horses that can't be used, but it does happen. I've seen it many times with the Blues horses. So, uh, yeah, we will see, guys. I will be kind of uh, out and about a little bit later today, very briefly. If I do spot Pagan uh, when I'm walking along here this afternoon, I will stop uh, and show you all. If not, uh, then I'll be back in the next video, folks. But from myself, it's a massive amount of tourists and, of course, the glorious indigo. Yep, that is definitely indigo. Look at that. Recognize that magisterial, I'm the boss kind of stare anywhere. Yeah, back in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.